Well, hi, it's Graham here, and I'm at Todd Head Lighthouse this morning. I don't know if you can see that behind me, but the sun is just, just rising there. And uh, so I've got here a few minutes late, but uh, here we are just about in time. And uh, I want to try and get a good shot of this amazing lighthouse, which is down here just near Catterline, Kinef, on the east coast of Scotland. And um, it's a great spot. I was here the other day but it, the conditions just weren't good and I felt it wasn't doing it justice. So I thought I'll come and have another go on a nicer morning. So um, before I get into it, of course, subscribe to the channel, give the video the thumbs up and uh, let's see how we get on. Okay, so I've been working away at this. Um, the light is incredible as you can see but um, I'm just struggling to find something in the foreground because everything down here is uh, still in the shade. Um, not so much over there behind me but it's just not such good foreground stuff and uh, I'm just in front of this kind of cliff here if you can see that and I really want to get that in the shot but it's really tight so I think I'm going to try shooting a panoramic um, so I'll talk you through that. I might make another video to go with that actually. Yeah, let me have a go at that just now. I'll let you know how I'm getting on. So I've been waiting for the light to hit the foreground in this spot that I'm in. So um, it's all just in the shade of the rocks that I'm on. Um, so I'm just going to try and find another spot over here where the light is on the foreground. And um, I don't think it's as ideal because I prefer that angle looking at the cliff over there. But the light is certainly is going on over there on these rocks behind me so see if I can find a shot from over here okay so I did something over there and uh, I'm not really into it so I'm going back over here to my spot this is where I kind of gravitated to when I was here the other day and uh, there's just there's a little kind of gully gorgy kind of thing it's just that the light isn't falling on the rocks in the foreground of it at the moment and I just need the sun to be a little bit higher. The land's quite sort of undulating and the little nook that I'm trying to get into is still in the shade I think. So that's a bit frustrating but just gotta wait and I suppose the more you wait the higher the sun gets in the sky and you just want that sun to be nice and low to get that nice sort of sunrisey feel. So it's a tricky one. So I think when I'm struggling like this, I think the best thing I can do is get myself in the right place at least and then just wait for the conditions to come to me. Okay, so here's the view through the camera and this is me just getting into the spot that I've been talking about. I'm starting to get a bit of a glimmer of light on these rocks here, which is going to be my foreground. And over there where my shadow is, there's this kind of little gully down here. I'm going to have to shoot an HDR for that and then that just sort of leading through that cliff over there which is still in the shade but the light's starting to come on here so it's just a waiting game really and then we'll have the lighthouse at the top obviously so just waiting for this light to really come on okay so here I am I'm finally getting towards the shot that I really had in mind here and uh, I've got the camera in an upright sort of perspective as you can see um, and so I'll show you the shot just now, but I've got a quarter of a second F13 and ISO 64, that's my lowest ISO. So it's just standard kind of landscape settings. Um, I've got the polarizer on the front there, it's good conditions for that. And the two stop ND grad, just to take uh, the sky down a little bit, just to make the sky a little bit darker. Um, and I'm still shooting that three frame bracket because the rocks are so dark down in the foreground. And it's fine, it's fine. The light's sort of coming on to where I want it to be now. Now that I'm looking at it, it's moved on a bit since I took the shot. So I, I want to get back into this just now and I'll keep showing you these pictures as I go. So I've been at this for a while now and uh, it's really, really hard to get it all in the one shot. So I've been shooting some panos. The tricky thing is there were, it's a little cliff that I'm on. And um, I don't know if you can see that, but it, it would be good to stand a couple of meters over that way. And um, that would be the ideal place to be. But I, if I did that, I would fall off the cliff. So um, 
I've been as close to the edge of the cliff as I'm comfortable to be and I'm still struggling to just get it all in. Um, so going for the panos, we'll see how they come up. And uh, I'm just at the moment, I'm just shooting a long exposure along this cliff because um, those clouds look quite nice for a long exposure. So I'm trying to get 30 seconds out of that um, with the 10 stop filter. Otherwise, there's great views that way as well. I mean, it's just, there's so much to see around here. But I came for the lighthouse, so that's what I've been focusing on. And, um, but it's definitely a place you could visit numerous times, I think, and get lots of different stuff. And I definitely feel like I've done the best I can today. Conditions were great, and it's a great location. Um, so hopefully something to take away from this. Um, so if you want to come here, it's just south of Stonehaven, just past Catterline. Hope you can find some time to check this out, but watch the cliff. It's really cliffy. It's quite a cliffy place. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you took something away from this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see my other videos from locations around Scotland. I'm a five minute photography series. Enjoy your photography. Take care. Be kind. I'll see you out there.